Hello students, once again welcome to Bhunanath Academy. In this video students, we are going to see the mechanical properties of fluids. Now students, if you want to see the mechanical properties of fluids, students, you should know what is fluids. State the properties of fluid. The fluid is a substance. Fluid is a substance that can flow. If any substance, if it is fluid, so that can flow. Say for example, students, liquid, gases and plasma. Except solid, all these now state they are they can flow so liquid gases and plasma are collectively called fluids now what are the properties these fluids will have students first property they do not resist deformation understand students and get permanently deformed they are capable of flowing understanding because they are what liquid gases and plasma so they are capable of flowing they take the shape of the container in which container you are keeping liquid gases and plasma they will take the shape of that container so these are the simple properties of fluids. Understanding students. Now students, one more question which is coming from one mark question that is called as what is hydrostatics? The hydro itself it is saying it is a liquid. Understanding students. Water. What is hydrostatics? Means the branch of physics which deals with the properties of fluids at rest. Statics means what? At rest. Statics is similar to as rest. That means the branch of physics which deals with the properties of fluid at rest is called hydrostatics. So understanding students, what is the definition of the hydrostatics? It's a branch of physics which deals with the properties of fluid at rest. The fluid is not flowing, it is at a stationary position. At that time, whatever properties we are learning, that is that branch of physics is called as hydrostatics. Now students, one more question is there. Define surface tension. Obtain the dimension of surface tension students for two marks question they are asking. For that students, how you are going to write, first you are going to define the surface tension. The surface tension of a liquid is defined as tangential force. This is the force, capital F I have taken students, this is the tangential force per unit length. So this is the imaginary line students and here the force is acting tangentially, it's called capital F. You can write tangential force that is capital F. Tangential force per unit length, length is I have taken for small l acting at right angle of either side of imaginary line so students this is the imaginary line i have drawn and we have taken we have drawn on the liquid surface this is a small part of liquid surface i have taken on that we students we have we are going to consider an imaginary line the imaginary line length is small l at right angle of either side of the imaginary line on the free surface of liquid the surface on the surface students we have drawn the imaginary line on that difference the force which is acting tangentially force per unit length is called as surface tension understanding the surface tension we are showing with capital T surface tension we are showing with capital T so surface tension capital T of a liquid is defined as the tangential force per unit length small l here it means small l acting at right angle on either side of the imaginary line on free surface of liquid is called as surface tension understanding the surface tension that is capital T equals to force per unit length force which is tangentially acting on this imaginary line Force per unit length is called as surface tension. Now, students, surface tension is nothing but force upon length. Understanding the force unit is Newton meter. So, one more unit of surface tension is Newton per meter. So, surface tension you can also define with Newton per meter. Now, students, when you are talking about the dimensions, mass, length, and time, so now you Newton you can write m zero l one t minus two upon meter. That is length is l one m zero and t zero. Understanding. What happens when this L will go on that side, it will become it will cancel the and becomes negative. So L will become L0, M0 already there, and this T minus 2. So this is the surface tension dimension students M0 L0 T minus 2. Surface tension is also equal to the surface energy per unit surface area of liquid. Understanding the surface tension you can also define capital equals to energy upon area, that is work upon area. Understanding students, work is nothing but force into displacement upon area. Now, students, when you write down the dimensions of force is m0, this is m0, l1, t minus 2 into, because this s is distance, so only m, l1, m0, t0. Area, students, length is square. So, l2, m0 and t0. Now, when you l0 will go on here, students, it becomes, because here l1, l1 becomes l2. Now, it will cancel, because this l will go on numerator. So, m0, l0 and t minus 2. Again, we are getting same dimension. So this way you can also write the dimensions of surface tension. Understand students. Now students, we are going to see 
one more question that is coming in examination for three marks question explain the phenomena of surface tension on the basis of molecular theory now students we are going to explain the surface tension on the basis of molecular theory the phenomenon of surface tension arises due to the cohesive forces between the molecule of liquid we are talking about here students cohesive forces between the molecule of liquid that is why the this surface tension is arising the consider students here we are going to consider three molecule students a b c consider three molecules students of liquid a molecule which are present inside the liquid b and c are lying within the surface of the film now following forces are going to act on the molecules now students we have to consider three molecules a b c now which are the forces are going to be act on these that we are going to going to see the first one is intermolecular forces intermolecular forces in intermolecular forces students forces between the molecule are called as intermolecular forces inter means between two molecules which forces acting that is called as what intermolecular forces there are two types of forces students first one is cohesive forces second is adhesive forces what is cohesive forces what is adhesive forces that we are going to see here now students we we have taken container now these are the three molecules i have taken one molecule a is inside the liquid molecule b is just touching the surface of the liquid and it is what present on the surface point the third molecule that is c is on the surface of the liquid understand students now this is the surface students sphere of the influence this is i have taken the molecules in the all the sides are equal understanding students the surface of this is forming the sphere of influence now when the molecule a is inside this liquid students there will be this molecule is attracted to us all attracted by equal forces understanding because they are all the molecules are same so molecule a is equally attracted from all the sides so that the resultant cohesive force acting on it is zero there is resultant force will be on this molecule will be zero now what happens students when the molecule which is just touching the surface of the liquid molecule b is experienced as a net cohesive force downward here it students there is will, will be what less this is imbalance force because resultant force is now it is going downside molecule b will experience as a cohesive force downside the resultant cohesive force on molecule c in the downward direction is maximum here it means when the molecule will be on the surface it means here the resultant force will be maximum towards the water side the surface of liquid behaves like a stress elastic membrane because of this it means if the molecules are present on the surface behaves like a stressed stress elastic membrane understanding this will that is why this surface is behaving like a stressed elastic membrane it is a part of the membrane understanding because of the phenomenon molecule which are present on the surface because of the resultant force is what downside understanding students now students we are going to see some terms what is cohesive forces the force of attraction between the molecules of the same substance is called cohesive force or force of cohesion understanding what is the cohesive force the force of attraction between the molecules of same substance water molecules will attract with water molecule that means that is coming in what cohesive forces adhesive forces when the force of attraction between the molecule of different substance is called as adhesive force or force of addition force of attraction between the molecules of different substance so water molecule is there now you have added kerosene to so kerosene molecule will attract or other molecule ethyl alcohol you are adding that is called as what adhesive arc. when the water is in contact with glass then glass molecule will will different and water molecule will be what different so there will be adhesive force of attraction now range of molecular force between the maximum distance from a molecule up to which molecular force is effective is called as range of the molecular force the sphere of influence is called as what range of molecular force. sphere of influence students now we are going to see sphere uh, imaginary sphere and imaginary sphere with a molecule at its center and radius equal to the molecular range is called the sphere of influence of the molecule understand students what is the this is the imaginary sphere we are drawing along the molecule that is called as what sphere of influence surface film students the surface layer of a liquid within a thickness equal to the range of intermolecular force is called as surface film the surface film is nothing but the surface layer of liquid within thickness equal to the range of intermolecular force is called as surface film now we are going to see the free surface of liquid free surface what is the free surface students it is the surface of fluid which does not experience any shear stress understanding if there is no stress on the surface of the liquid we call as what free surface of liquid now students what is surface tension the surface tension of a liquid behaves like a stress elastic membrane this tension is known as what surface tension if the surface of the liquid is what is having stress elastic membrane like property then that surface is the that part is called as surface tension the surface film of a liquid behaves like a stress elastic membrane if the surface of the film the surface of layer of a liquid behaves like a stress elastic membrane then this tension is known as what surface tension so these are the properties students very very important property of the fluid we have seen like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much god bless you